Hola mi gente, what's up guys? Welcome to the Viaje Travel Blog. This is Danny and today Super Blue Miami. Right there. Immersive art is an experience and harness technologies such as VR, holography and digital projection to enable viewers to enter the work of art and become a protagonist within it. It is the place where imagination and creativity are combined with experience. So to my curiosity, I searched on Google and saw a few museums in Florida offering immersive experiences. The Philip and Patricia Frost Museum of Science, Miami, St. Augustine Pirate and Treasure Museum in St. Augustine, Fairgrounds, St. Pete, and Titanic, the Artifact Exhibition in Orlando. But not entirely, these museums offer some level of immersive experience. Still, here in Miami, there are two, Super Blue Miami and the Van Gogh Miami, offering a completely immersive experience. Okay, in this video, I will show you what Super Blue Miami offers to anyone who wants to experience a different expression through light, color, sound, and nature. Hey, where are you guys from? From Port St. Lucie. Port St. Lucie. What do you think about this place? It looks cool. Yeah, it looks cool from the, the, the images on Google and all that <laughs> stuff. And we're actually here for a wedding. My best friend's brother's getting married. Oh, really? So yeah. we're just trying to waste some time. Wedding's later tonight. Well, she really loves museums and stuff. And yeah. we, we went to the museum down the road a couple days ago. <laughs> all right, awesome. Yep. What's your name? Name is Brett. Brett. Melanie. Melanie. Guys, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. See you soon. Bye. Super Blue mission is to amplify artists' voices on issues that matter in this era. My experience starts at the massless cloud between a sculpture and life exhibition. I was confused about what I was about to experience. First, I was asked to read some guidelines on the wall, including some health precautions. Then I was invited to wear a transparent waterproof poncho, a mask. It is not a requirement, but I chose to wear it. Immediately when I entered the room, I don't know if the camera is going to help it. Give me one second. This room. How do you call this room? Oh, massless clouds. Massless clouds. Gotcha. Massless clouds. That's very neat. Okay, so the full room is full of, I don't know, soap, but it's not soap, or just bubbles, but it feels like there's no water inside. But there's soap. And so that's it's very interesting. It's very, very interesting. like, it's just. Look, it's like, well, now I can feel it. Now it's, now it's soap. The more you're in it. The more, the, exactly, the more, the more that I'm right here on the, on this clouds, I can feel the soap. So, all right, so I'm not sure about this camera, so I'm gonna, I'm worried about the lens. So let's see how it goes. Good luck. All right. So I just walk? Yeah, anywhere you go. Everywhere I go? It's an interactive sculpture. How big it is?
it was interesting to see the bubbles covering the entire room. It would be nice to see the bubbles floating and moving in the room as shown in the video from their website, but still it was different. It made me feel like I was somewhere at the North Pole, but with bubbles. Okay, so if you have respiratory problems, skip the experience. I don't have respiratory issues, but I started coughing for a few minutes until my body adapted to the bubbles. That is how I felt, but it is up to you if you want to explore it. You will get a towel to remove the soap, and you get to keep the poncho if you like, since it is free for you. This is a $12 add-on feature alongside your general admission ticket. It's very cool because you are right in the middle of all this soap, and of course, the way how it feels like I can cough because everything is flying. So, but it's okay, it's not, it's not harm, it's organic. Definitely you need to use this. You can wear uh, glasses if you like protect your eyes okay so this is not a sponsored video but if you're wondering where I am getting my music on my videos well, Epidemic Sound does the magic. They have the largest royalty-free music library from different music artists around the world. If you're starting as a content or video creator, then sign up with my link in the description of this video to get 10% discount on your first 12 months and the first 30 days are free. Okay, let's go back to the video. My first impression was like being on a rainy night in the jungle. Then the entire room turned into a garden of multicolored flowers. It was pretty cool. Do you know that by keeping your hands to the wall, the immersive technology creates an effect of interactions between you and the illustration? This effect is generated by a systematic code behind the scenes. Then you will go to a third immersive room, a less colorful but displaying an elegant and peaceful illustrations about nature. that was kind of unique experience and uh, now I am heading to a different uh, station so I can see the next artist. My journey continues to a room where I will be asked to cover my shoes as I sit to watch an inspiring clip from the artist. He's about to illustrate the connection between light and the sky. Unfortunately, I was not allowed to film with any device or take photos in this room. The reason was the potential disruption of the room's environment. The Forest of Oz. This is a mirror maze, but first relax and pay attention to the video clip when the artist explains the motivation to create this exhibit. This was, for sure, my second favorite exhibition. The artist was inspired on her interest in the organic shape of trees transformed into an immersive experience that takes visitors on a journey rooted in the human respiratory process. I noticed that the viewers had the opportunity to take creative photos, some just lay down to meditate, relax, or take pictures of their reflections from the ceiling mirrors. I literally almost hit myself in the this mirror. Very confusing, very confusing. And finally, the gift shop of the museum. So spend some time exploring and see where your curiosity will lead you.
Bueno mi gente, a few things you should know about this unique museum. Come to a very open mind and experience ways to admire art. If you are a content creator, then be aware that you cannot use your camera, self stick, tripod, flash or mic. There was an exhibition I was not allowed to film from my phone or video camera. Conversely, these exhibitions may be inactive in the near future, but you may be experiencing other new ones. Moreover, more artists are applying the immersed technology in their art so viewers can easily remember the experience.